come to our PCB production part three, which it flex PCBs continued. Before we begin, I would like uh, to shortly introduce myself. My name is Guido Bernard, and I have been working in the PCB industry for about 30 years now. Since September 2020, I'm supporting the technical product management at the Wood Electronic board, uh, Circuit Board Technology. Today's webinar is a follow-up to the webinar PCB production part two, Richard Flex. In today's webinar, we will look at the symmetrical stack ups. This means that the flex core are inside the PCBs. To begin the webinars, uh, a short review webinar from webinar PCB production part Y. The next chapter is uh, application examples uh, for, for um, XRI to FXRI stack ups. The third chapter is the production process of a rigid flex board, eight layers. And I think we start. The review from the webinar PC production part two. Um, in this webinar, you can find difference uh, between flexible and rigid flex printed circuit boards. Uh, you find it describes from all base materials for rigid flex printed circuit boards and also the manufacturing process of a rigid flex uh, 1F7RI PCB. That means one flex layer on the top side and seven rigid layers. You will find all print, uh, webinars on this webinar on the webinar archive on, on, the, on, on the homepage. So, before we start with the technical details, I would like to present these three appli application examples in advance. All three examples used a symmetrical layer construction. This means that the flex core is on the inside. Example one shows an industry torque tool spanner. The main electronics were to be used in the handle. All electronics are, oops. Sorry, ah, in the handle. The motivation was miniaturization, reliability, and system advantage. The stack up called 3RI to F3RI. This means three rigid layers, two flex layers, three rigid layers. The next example shows an uh, industrial camera with a small construction. Here too, the same stack up, the 3RI to F3RI. Impedance defined signals on the flex layer to such structures, mesh design on the reference layer on the flex layer. USB connector on separated rigid section, avoidance of connections and saving of footprints areas. And the third example shows a high resolution high speed camera. Application here, astronomy, area scanning, and spectroscopy. Here you will find a stack up on 4RI, 4F, 4I, and 12 layer board. Four layers in the flex area and 12 layers also in the rigid area. Impedance defines signals, 50 micron polyamide core, FR4 standard TG 150 degrees, and all flex layers are bonded in the flex area. So, this, this was the three examples. I will start with the wood electronic circuit board technology standard stack ups. The first look is the absolute standard four, four layer um, PCB. 1RI, 2F, 1RI, one rigid layer, two flex layer, and one rigid layer. In the flex area, the both two flex layers. Uh, of course, 
for the examples, I this two end thickness, one millimeter and 1.5 millimeters. Of course, other end thickness are possible. The characteristics are the same. The next one is the same, stuck up with a thickness from 1.55 millimeter. The difference is of the thickness of the upper four cores. Um, so the next standard is a six layer board, 2RI, 2F, 2RI, with a thickness is one millimeter. Two rigid layers, two flex layers, two rigid layers. And the same for the thickness, 1.55. Here we also find the same construction. The flex core is always in the middle of the, of the PCB board. Of course, HDI designs are possible. For example, uh, micro wires double side from the top to the inner layer one and from the bottom to the next inner layer and the barrel wires from two to nine. The next uh, stuck up is also the same construction. The flex core are in the middle, but the difference is here we, we have a 4F layer construction. The syntax is, is one, uh, three, one uh, RI, 4F, three RI three rigid layers, four flex layers, and three rigid layers. The four, four layer construction, the flex layers are bonded with a bond line in the flex area. Of course, for the 4F construction, you can also use HDI designs with micro wires and barrel wires. And now I would like to show a so-called non-standard stack up. This 2RI, 2F plus 2RF, 3RI is therefore not a standard stack up, even if the construction is symmetrical. Here are the three rigid layers, two flex layers, two flex layers, and three rigid layers. The difference between 2F plus 2F and, and, and 4F is the distance between the flex cores. An air gap is created in the flex area. The distance from the, um, yeah, the distance for a two F plus two F built up is round about um, five mil up to eight mil. The typical gap on a 4F construction is 100 microns. You can see the different 2F plus 2F um, stuck up. We need a distance from about minimum 5 mil. And for the 4F stuck up, the distance between the flex layers are 100 microns or 4 mil. H design is also possible with a non standard built up. <clears throat> the summaries. In the webinar PCB production part two, you will find important information about asymmetrical stack ups. Asymmetrical stack ups are the flex layer on outer sides PCB. Symmetrical rigid flex PCBs are used for industrial tools and ultra modern 
high-speed cameras, standard stack apps of XIL 2F or 4F XRI variants were presented, and the non-standard using the example of the 2RI, 2F plus 2RF, 3RI stack up with the air gap. And now to the poll. <laughs> Yeah, welcome to our first poll. The question is, what is the typical feature of a symmetrical layer stack up XRI, YF, XRI of a rigid flex circuit board? We have five possible answers. One of them is correct. So I will start the poll now. <coughs> Please make your choice. And after the voting, we will show the result. So we've got around about 20% participation. So feel free to make your choice. Forty percent. That's a top favorite. <laughs> it's like in the German session. So the attendance was quite good. Okay, a few more seconds, then I will close the poll. And this is the result. We've got 80% for the last answer. The flexible layers are located inside, that means in the center of the PCB. And this is, that is absolutely correct. Thanks for your participation. Peter, it's, it's up to you. Okay, it's good result. <laughs> so the next chapter is, um, in this chapter we will look it's important processes of the production of a symmetrical rigid flex printed circuit board. You see here only a highly summarized representation of the manufacturing process. There's not enough space on the presentation slide to show all processes. The fields highlights in blue, this one, correspond to a standard production process for digital circuit boards, for rigid boards, is only standard. The yellow highlights fields, this one, this one, mm. it's as a typical manufacturing processes for rigid flex technology. These processes are not needed for the standard rigid PCBs. We will take a, a closer look to the yellow process. The first step to produce is the flex inner layer four and five, this core. The process are detreatment, resist laminating, exposure, development, etching, cleaning, and IOI, optical inspection, and so on. What's special is here, the, uh, the base material cover lay must be cutting on a cutting machine. This is the first step for the cover layer is cutting, register to fix it on the inner layer and the lamination. Now, the inner layers are transported to the assembly point in the with the layer pressing department. It's very important, it's not a standard technology for rigid PCB. It's only used for rigid flex technologies. Now the composite materials, prevec and supporting materials, PTFF foil, this PTFF is uh, a kind of Teflon, are needed. This material goes through the process typical uh, rigid flex technology. The previous is part partially removed with the help of a welding tool, the routing machine, kind of window technique. 
and the PTF file is cut with the same cutter machine uh, as for the coverlay. Now the processed materials are transported to the assembly point in the pressing department. The rigid inner layers now run through the process of an inner layer standard production. These processes are standard for PC reprinted circuit board technology production. Exposure, development, etching, optical inspection, and pretreatment. Then the rigid inner layers are transported to the assembly point to the multilayer department. Exposure. Development, etching, and assembly point from the pressing department. Finally, we need the copper foils on the top and on the bottom sides of the PCB. Copper foil and also the pre back and the pre back. Now the production panel is rest. This pressing process takes a place under vacu vacuum, high pressure and temperatures up to 200 degrees. After the pressing, the rigid flex PCB goes through all the usual standard processes as with a rigid PCB. All drilling process, all galvanic processes, printing and etching, outer layer, solar mass, surface finish, and contour making, uh, milling. And exact, exactly here, there is an essential difference to a standard PCB production. We need an additional deep milling process before the standard contour milling. Now, let's take a closer look to the deep milling process. In picture one, we see the milling process from the deep milling with the milling tool here and here. Picture two and three shows the exposed PTFF foil and can be removed, the white one. And picture four shows the flex area to the finished PCB. After deep milling, the last necessary processes are carried, uh, milling out the outer contour, cleaning, optical final inspection, and shipping. Now we have learned that the production of a rigid flex circuit board differs fundamentally uh, from the rigid uh, basic PCB especially the mechanical process of the pre and in the coverlay and also the PTF foil, uh, require elementary design rules. The elementary design rules are the, D, uh, the point D and G, especially the points D and G needs a closer look. For this, please visit our webpage. You can find the design rules for Richard Flex 2RI to F2RI and the design guide for Richard Flicks.